what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about a few different things in this video related to scream six so over these past two days i think it started on thanksgiving it actually started the day prior so from thanksgiving friday to today so much has been revealed online that i again just to give a warning if you don't want to know anything overly specific you can click away but i would say this is again comparable to finding out the grass is green uh or that you need oxygen to live as a human but uh so much has been released over these past couple of days i just want to share my thoughts on i will not be sharing anything in regards to these leaked images anymore going forward only because it's now been confirmed by rj tolbert that these indeed are images that are being leaked so i'm not going to show them and it seems like the person who is leaking them is doing this in uh in a place where they're being shared info and they're leaking it when they shouldn't be but they are but it seems clear that they are not in cahoots with the studio unless rj tobert is covering for them but i am now on the side of back thinking that this is not an inside job and that somebody is just leaking stuff so so much was released first that shot we had of ghostface packing heat in the bodega which has so many people up in arms about it because it's like this is so unlike ghostface it's not unlike ghostface to necessarily have a gun as much as it is unlike us to see ghostface with a gun pre mass reveal pre explanation pre motive reveal and pre taking the costume off closest thing i can think we've seen of this is roman in scream 3 who by at that time had already had his mask gone and he shot sydney with kincaid's gun that is the closest thing i can think we have seen to something like this we've never seen ghostface wielding something this big either because he's wielding a shotgun this time around and he's aiming it at somebody on the ground i can assume in this bodega now it's safe to assume it's the same exact location that we saw melissa barrera and jenna ortega filming at behind the scenes because some of the material that you can see in regards to the blue pillars some of the things hanging on the blue pillar in the image can be found in some similar photos that you can see of melissa and jenna in the same bodega so that's how we know this is legit we knew it was legit prior to rj coming out and making it clear that somebody was indeed leaking these things but my thoughts on this is i do not think that ghostface is going to be chasing these girls into the bodega with a shotgun if he is then he is and if it's able to be portrayed well on screen then i'm not going to complain about it however i don't think that's what's going on i think ghostface will be wielding the traditional buck knife for the majority of the movie but along the way you know if certain folks want to pop off at ghostface then ghostface is going to pop back obviously and if for many of you who grew up playing grand theft auto 5 like myself you know exactly how this is probably going to go down whoever is running this bodega probably got ahead of themselves wanted to defend their turf had a shotgun and then they're going to die for their efforts when ghostface retaliates takes the shotgun away from them kicks them onto the floor points it at them and blasts them and blows them into the afterlife that is definitely what is probably going to happen it is not likely the, the chances of Ghostface chasing them into this store with a shotgun, they seem very slim. If anything, it's more likely that somebody was in the bodega with a shotgun ready to shoot and Ghostface is able to get the upper hand and takes it away from them. That's how I see it playing out. It seems like it's going to be a very intense sequence, but that's one of the things that came out. This came out again on Thanksgiving Day from an account that's leaking things. I'm told there's another thing they're going to leak shortly today. Probably by the time you've heard this video, it's already been leaked, but we'll see what happens for the day. Now, I also want to talk about the title really quick. Some stuff has also come out, some more evidence to back up viewer non's claims about the title being Scream VI and not Scream with two exclamation points have come out. This leaked kind of like poster that I'm not going to share either that shows the logo Scream with the M highlighted VI in red. So making it clearly obvious that this is the sixth entry. I want to touch on that. I do not think that this is a negative thing. I do think that them not including five in the fifth one is justified, only going off the fact that they want to be commentary on requels. So I think they were mostly going for the Halloween 2018 approach, and that's why it's just called Scream and not Scream 5. So with this, I also want to share this because I was told some bit some info related to these titles that they had going on with when they were filming. So apparently, according to somebody who was close to production that shared this with me, three different titles were being used. This crew learning from how we were ahead of them in so many ways last time played with us during the filming of this one which hats off to them for being ahead of the leaks and having fun with a franchise who is known for its history of leaks so apparently there were three three titles used they only showed us the the one title with the exclamation points but apparently there were two others that were being used on set during filming they purposely only showed us the two exclamation point titles or the two exclamation point title to throw you off track. So apparently that was never going to be the real title. The real title was always going to be the Scream V.I. with the V.I. highlighted in the M. 
So shout out to them for that, for being ahead of us. The leaked poster also displayed a tagline of like New York, new rules. So I think that's a pretty cool tagline playing off of the fact that the movie obviously is set in New York. Obviously, also, it seems like it's paying homage or making a nod to the Screen 4 title. Ha tagline, I meant to say new decade, new rules, I think was the tagline there. And that's the entry that many people like myself find to be a bridge between Sydney's story and the Carpenter trilogy that we now find ourselves in. So... The title again seems like it's going to be Scream VI, not Scream with two exclamation points. I prefer that over the two exclamation points. And then also the last thing we'll talk about is this trailer talk. There's talk about this trailer that's out there that's apparently already been seen by a few people, Viewer Nom being one of them. Viewer Nom recently also revealed that they were told that this trailer could be dropping around the Babylon release or closer to Megan. There is a date that is locked for now. That's what I will say. I'm not going to reveal the date. I was told of the date, but I don't want to reveal it because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. However... To my knowledge, you should be expecting to see this trailer in late December. That's all I will have to say there. If it comes out any sooner, that's because of the fact of all these leaks going on. Might force them to push it up a bit higher, which is understandable to get ahead of the leaks. But there's a date that's locked. If it comes any sooner, it again is definitely safe to assume it was because of the leaks. I've already given a prediction on when I think the trailer will drop, but I've also had the planned date shared with me. So we'll see what happens now. The other thing I will say is that I think this trailer will do itself a lot of justice by just highlighting a lot of chase scenes. If they have a lot of chase scenes in the movie, like Jenna Ortega has told us and how we've kind of seen hyped around the movie from other cast members, show those chase scenes. Show Gail having a conversation with Ghostface. Show some of the stuff that would not give away who the killer is. Show people's faces in terror. Just do stuff like that for a majority of this trailer. Have a voiceover that is just from Roger L. Jackson in a very menacing way talking about how Ghostface is ready to take on New York and how he's going to make the Woodsboro survivors life a living hell do something very simple like that show a few snippets of footage from the movie and just kind of be I would say more along the lines of what we saw with the screen three teaser even though I think that this is going to be the one and only trailer we get I think that highlighting a lot of these chase sequences is going to do them justice in terms of not being able to have people say, oh, that's the killer, that's the killer, that's the killer, that's the killer. Oh, no, I have it all figured out. I think they will do themselves a lot of justice by just going in that route. So I hope the trailer plays it the right way by showing us mostly chase sequences and maybe just minor scenes of characters talking to each other and being upset about Ghostface being back. Show us some sequences of Courtney Cox doing her thing as Gail Weathers. That's how I would do it. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.